Talise had cerebral palsy from birth and at 13 she developed generalised dystonia. One day her dad just got lowered in the pool and she did some doggy paddle to the side and that was it. She loves the water and I think, you know, it's just become a big part of her life. Once I started to get into swimming I realised that I was actually fairly good at it and I really wanted to push and see what I could do. In 2016 when I'd been nominated for Young Sports Personality of the Year and I'd just come back from Worlds as Four Times World Champion, I was still in shock, it hadn't really sunk in yet that I'd actually become a four times world champion. She was Great Britain's highest medal earner at the um, IPC World Championships. She was just on top of the world. Tully was set to travel to Rio for the 2016 Paralympics as one of Team GB's brightest medal hopes when her sporting dreams crashed around her. A sudden and savage deterioration in her condition left her unable to swim let alone compete. She suddenly had this massive deterioration in her condition. It was very sudden. I was trying to swim and I could do like maybe one length, but I just, I just couldn't really move my arms. Once her condition deteriorated to that extent, um, yeah, it was really difficult to see how she could ever compete competitively again. We tried to build her back up in time for the games in Rio, but unfortunately she just wasn't able to go. I'd been training for about 10 years of my life. Uh, all leading up to this point and it just crashed. Basically at that point I thought my career as an athlete was over and I was just lost, I didn't know what I was anymore. It was a really difficult time. Um, she had to learn to swim again with a much um, greater impairment than she had before. About April, May time of 2017, my mum decided that I should go and try swimming again. I sort of bundled her into the car one day and drove to the local swimming pool. We just did some jogging up and down the pool and that was the start of it really. So at that point I didn't think I'd swim again but it made me realise that I wasn't finished. I felt like I couldn't give up because it was like unfinished business. I hadn't quite got to where I wanted to be. In 2018 I went to my first Europeans and I came back with a gold and a bronze and it was just absolutely amazing. The medal meant so much more than any other because I'd had to overcome all this. She wanted that medal and she went out and got it. It took a little bit of time but she got back in, she persevered and she's got back to being as successful in a new class as she was in her old class. 2.46.92, a monster time. It's a championship record for Tully Kearney. I think Tully is a very inspiring person and I think she's shown that you can overcome obstacles in your life and that's something I'm really proud of her for.